So far we have been typing a lot of code into the command line like specifying the config file and project name. So let's make it more simple by creating some node scripts. So to do that, open your package.json and you can see there is a place called script and there is some test but nothing has been specified here. So for Playwright you can specify as many scripts you want and typically you would create a script for Chrome, one for Firefox and one for WebKit. So let me show you some examples. So let's delete this and let's also change the name and let's change it for example to test Chrome and now the script will be Playwright test now you pass the config in our case the config is Playwright And if we open the play by config, we can see we have some projects. So for Chrome, we have project named Chromium. So let's pass it here as well. So now, if we want to run the test using the Chrome like this, we don't need to type anything to command line, just like this. But we can remove this all. And we can run just simple script npm run test chrome and hit enter. And as you can see, the playwright is running our test inside Chromium. But instead of all that long command line which we had to specify here, like this, we can do the simple one just npm run and the name of the script, and this complete script will be executed under this macro. So let's do the same for the Firefox. We can do test Firefox. And this will be basically the same, so let's copy paste it. But we want to change the project from Chromium to Firefox. Save it and let's test it out. Let's change the test Chrome into test Firefox. Hit run. And as you can see, our tests are now running in Firefox browser instead of Chromium browser. So the final one is the WebKit. So let's create tests WebKit. And do the same here. But change the name to the WebKit. And save it. And now let's try to run it. So instead of Firefox, let's use WebKit. And again, as you can see, our tests are now running inside WebKit browser. So that's it. Now we have pretty much simplified our scripts. But there is also one question you may ask and how to run the tests, for example, in headless or headful in this case. Do I need to create one more? And technically you can, you can create more scripts and add the flag of headless here. But you can also override the configuration in the CLI. So let me show you. Let's say I want to run the test in WebKit, but not in headless mode, but in headful. So I'm gonna do npm run test WebKit. Now you do two double dashes like this. And now you can override the configuration. In this case, I can do edit. And now if I run the test, it will use this script, but add the flag headed at the end of the script. So let's try to run it. And as you can see, the WebKit has been visible and the test is still passing. So that's pretty much it. Remember, you can create as many scripts you want. You can create, for example, multiple scripts for the same browsers if you have a different configurations. We will be working with that later when we will be working with end-to-end -end tests. And if you want to override something, you can just add two dashes and after that you can add as many flags as you want. So that's it. That was a quick overview of Node scripts and see you in the next video.